Well, that didn't work out. Ugh. There must be something more fun to do than this. I know. So I thought I'd do this as a respite from the work I've been doing on the ring light clamp for a Janus. You can see it up here. Um, I thought I would do this. And what do I have in this bag? Aha. Well, a few, a while back, two videos ago, I said, I'm gonna get myself another plastic model to work on. And guess what I did? I went and got myself a plastic model to work on. The 1970 Ford Bronco by Revel. And is it, uh, what is it? 125? 124? It's 125 scale. That's probably out of focus, isn't it? Eh, okay. Um, but yeah, it's 125 scale. Oh, there it is right there. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I promise I will do this one. And I'm probably gonna make it blue, but we'll find out what colors are available. And I also got myself some glue. We'll deal with the paint later. So let's get this guy open and find out what's in there. I have to admire uh, this box. I don't think this is the original uh, artwork, but it's still pretty nice. We've got a 1973 Colorado license plate. Uh, in my neighborhood, there was a car for many years that drove around with a Colorado license plate on it with impunity. Anywho, let's see what we can do. Oops. Da, da, da. Oops. That didn't go very well. Ah! What is that? There we go. Yeah. With a fine box artwork, and on the back, uh, we've got, well, I'm over six. That's good. What? It's a snap, build, and play? What? No, glue. Features full play value. Thank goodness. No glue. What? What's the point of that? <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm looking at this wrong. What level is this? Sorry. It's a skill level five. Oh, that, that might not be good. Oh. Yeah, skill level five. Mm -hmm. See what I got here. Oh, skill level five. 13 years and plus. Well, that's good. Glue and paint, 120 pieces. And I need glue and paint and tools. So, oh, okay. Uh, and a build time, seven plus hours. <laughs> I don't have enough time in the day to do that. Oh, and also here we have a scan to play. What's this? It's some sort of Ford thing. I wonder if I can win a Ford. I'll find out. And it's a Zongshan. Perhaps that's where this is made. Okay, here we go. All right, that's not going very well. Okay. Is it just suction? There we go. And, oh, this is a good time for a battery change on the camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're rolling again. So what do we got in the box? Let's see. I've got these, uh, let's put this aside up here. we got these really nice knobbly tires and oh, they're nice and squishy. Very cool. Oh wow, the glass is all individual. So we've got side glass for the cap. We've got the side glass for the doors, and one of these is the windshield. Windshield, headlights, and it must be the backlight. That's kind of cool. Oh, awesome, check that out. So there's the body. I'm gonna get some scissors, if I can find any. Oh, you know what I can do? Take the body out, can't lose that one. So It's all right. There's always flimsier when you think they should be, but uh, pretty cool. All right, so we got the body and it's very nicely done. And of course, just like the real thing, the cap can come off. I'm assuming you have to assemble it with one way or the other, but still, that's pretty cool. It's really thin though. Well, that's nice. I don't really wanna yeah. I think you got a good idea of the profile there. That's pretty cool. Nice. And of course, you got Ford right there. Put some focus. 
Uh, there you can kind of maybe see it. Yeah, I'll get it later. What else we got? So if I can make that as an open truck, that means I can do stuff in the back. Holy cow, I am, why not? Okay, we're gonna open this up. So here we go, you've got some, there's the front seats. That must be the back seat uh, or the back. So hopefully it folds down. I don't know if Broncos in the 70s, I guess their seats would fold at some level. I mean, I had an old Wagoneer and its seat folded pretty good. Uh, those look like uh, brakes. Uh, well, come on, you can do it. Okay. There we go. So, here, wheel discs, air cleaner. Ooh, that must be the back axle and different. No, that's the front and back axles and the differential. So, I think that's the back. Yeah, it looks like the front. And, here. oh, that's a nice floor plan. Look at that. Oh, what? Oh, cool. That that, that is reverse of the uh, of the tailgate of the exterior. The interior of the tailgate is reverse of the exterior. That's pretty nice. And that must be the seat. So that's the back there. Of the where'd it go? Oh, there you go. So that must be the back of the back seat. Dashboard. That's actually quite nice. Steering wheel, um, transmission, three in the tree by the looks of it. Uh, what is that? Part, that must be the frame for the back seat. Put that over here. This is kind of nice. Oh, nice frame, dual exhausts. Uh, the springs. Good God, there's a lot of pieces here. I am going to screw this up so badly. Uh, radiator fan, shocks. Odds and sods, engine block, spare tire. Ah, too bad they didn't give you a rubber spare tire. Oh, well. uh, oh. Uh, our first casualty is right here. Interior panels, of the hood. Yeah, okay. Backs of the seats, front seats. Oh, we got a little uh, uh, hose. And the radiator. Yeah. That'll look nice and rusty. So what else we got? Let's put these back. And now the last tree, which is the chrome, which will have to be dolled out, of course. Hey, that's a nice grill. Look at that. It's all slots are all separate. I'm not taking this out of the plastic, by the way. Some nice bumpers. Haha, uh -huh, your hubcats. Perfect. Groovy mirrors, door handles. Jesus, that's a lot of stuff. And Finally, oh my gosh, maybe I should have got a level three, or level four. I didn't think about that in the store. Oh, hey, decals. Oh, good. You don't have to paint the side stuff. I bet you those are pretty clear, though. So if you look here on the box, you have this lower paint along the rocker panels, which is a pain to do. So the question is, is that uh, opaque enough to cover things? And I guess those are f not floor mats, but backs of seats and things. An interesting choice. Collar ratty. Uh, I might do my own custom license plate. Uh, Ford, various Fords. And that's a good question. What is that? Oh, these are all uh, bits from the uh, dashboard. Okay, and Bronco. Is that painted on the side? Eh, we'll find out. So very nice. And put those in there. Uh, I don't think I'll put that like that. I'll get that away from the water. And so yeah, it's uh, <laughs> 15 pages. Very nice, cool. All right.
Interesting. Okay, cool. Oh, and there you go. That That is the numbering. For the uh, stickers, the uh, decals, or decals. Yeah, there you go, 25. All right, pretty awesome. I'm gonna put that back. Uh, oh, I'll deal with that in a second. There we can go there. Yeah, I'll put those there, let's put that there. Slide this over here. So I thought maybe we take a closer look at the box art here. So here we go, uh, all the way around. So there we go, we have the finished uh, version of the uh, kit in pristine so oh good it gives you some idea for the motors to look like and uh, the interior although I, I don't really think they'd have white but i could be wrong um flip out spare tire that's kind of cool and uh the underside rather nice and what do we got here oh the original ford bronco was ahead of its time it was ford's first compact suv and extended for five generations yeah kind of cool uh five generations has a base price of $2,200 when it was first introduced. That's in the 60s. That's when a dollar was a real dollar. Anyways, that's kind of cool. So um, this is what I'm gonna do as a rust bucket. Because this is a 1970 Bronco, <laughs> rust is gonna be perfect for it, uh, being a 74, 70s Ford product. Um, I wanna make mine age, aged and uh, rusty. So the question is, um, do I have any uh, glue? Well, yeah, I, I bought glue at the hobby store. Um, the one thing is, uh, is that these days it's really hard to get stuff uh, because of, I don't know, COVID. Um, but also, you don't have the hobby stores and things. So I actually had to go, I don't know, drive half an hour to go to this place uh, for a proper model kit store. And even then I didn't buy the paint because I didn't know what I wanted. However, I do have some paint. So let's uh, see what we got here. So in here I have my model paints in this Jenny Lind chocolate box. I do not recall anything about Jenny Lind, and this has been in my family. <laughs> like, this is at my parents' house ever since I was a kid, and it got used and reused. So finally, I ended up with my model paints in it. So, these are really old, but I'm surprised that this still has liquid in it, and it's been uh, mixed for an airbrush. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, still good, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah, it smells. <clears throat> and uh, what do we got here? We got uh, light sea gray. This is not good for uh, doing a model. Flat or pale green. Oh, that might actually be good. I don't think, oh my God, it's stuck. Uh, what have we got here? This is a gunship gray. What a lovely section of colors. Uh, I got uh, wood. That's an interesting shade there. I don't know if these are usable again. Oh, look at that, that came out pretty good. Yeah, maybe. Um, and I got these humble paints. These are a buck 25 from Leisure World. That is old. Uh, <laughs> in fact, where, where did I get these? I, well, Leisure World, obviously, uh, but that's a long time ago. Um, Gray, gray. And in fact, I think the last model I did was a uh, more gray. Was uh, uh, the original uh, Klingon uh, battle cruiser from uh, the Star Trek original Star Trek series, um, and um, I did a good job painting it up and added lights, and then somewhere it disappeared. Anyway, so these are the. That's still liquid. Uh, my colors, so I guess I'll need more colors, but at least something there is salvageable. Let's see what else I've got. I have this box. Oh, I hope this is... All right, let's see what we got here. Um, a deck of cards. I've got... Oh, hey, nice. Um, I've got a um, airbrush in here somewhere. Oh, there's some parts. So it's an old airbrush. Let's see what we got there. This is a demo reel belonging to a friend of mine from many years ago. Oh, hey! Um, <laughs> my fatty Arbuckle card that I made for a friend. Look at that! See, it's, a me it's different messages. It's back when I was creative. Each, each message is customized. Eh, there we go. Anywho, the brewing news. 
call for an egg report. Okay, so this is my rather cheap Badger airbrush. And uh, I got that. Oh no, I'm still missing a piece. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't have the little cup that goes on the side, so maybe it's time for a new airbrush. Ha! Well, let's see what we got here. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, I got all the other pieces. There's the. Yeah. I mean, who uses airbrush these days? I mean, uh, except the model making. <laughs> Maybe that'll show up. That's a job for another day. Let's go back to the model kit. And, oh, philosoph playing cards. Eh, trip to France. All right, well, so that's it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get for this guy, maybe even a new airbrush, unless that cup shows up again. Um, well, we'll see. However, let's take a look at this box again. I'm definitely gonna build this. It's gonna be rusty and uh, weathered and cool. Uh, and I don't really care how badly it turns out. It'll be my test, uh, test run for doing the uh, Chrysler 300, which won't be that beat up, but it, this will be fun to do. And it looks rather nice. So, um, yeah. So there you go. And thank you very much. And uh, see you next time. By the way, please, uh, if you want to, uh, I, I encourage people to subscribe. And if you want, uh, you can see a couple of videos that should be listed somewhere in here. Thank you very much.